Hello and welcome to this edition of Orion Outreach. I'm your host, Tracy Woodrum, and I'm joined today by the Executive Director of the Lake Orion Downtown Development Authority, Molly Lalone. Welcome, Molly. Hi, thank you, Tracy. I'm so happy to be here today. I am so happy to be here with you also. I know we've chatted before on yes. other programs and it's yeah. always so wonderful. You have so much, you're doing so much in our downtown and um, I love being a part of it. Like I live just walking distance from yes, the downtown and there's so many events and the businesses are thriving. Yeah. And uh, so I appreciate you being here. So okay. <laughs> let's talk about so, the yeah, summer. Let's talk about because we are at the start of the summer. School mm -hmm. just finished yes. and there is going to be a lot happening in the downtown this summer. So what are some mm -hmm. of the things that we have coming up? Well, First thing happening always happens soon as summer's out. We get the Susan. Jubilee, Yay. right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, and the Jubilee for all of you, um, if you don't know, it is run by the Lions Club. Right. Um, and they are. This is one of their biggest fundraisers. They have a lot of charities that they support. Mm -hmm. If you have any questions about that, please contact the Lions Club and find out what they support. Um, you might find that you want to be a member. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. That. Well, and that's but, something that, like, we. I know you're going to go through like mm -hmm. a lot of things that are mm -hmm. coming up. But the DDA. So you help to promote the events mm -hmm. that are going mm -hmm. to be. They're not your events, right? They're not no. DDA events. But a lot you of them do are not. Yeah. Help to promote and market, and then also mm -hmm. how can the these events help the local business owners and the local businesses. So making yeah. sure that it all mm -hmm. works with that. So mm -hmm. so the Lions Club Jubilee is coming mm -hmm. up and um, yeah, that is yeah. that is and, a big event. And we are doing the DDA, what we're hosting during that event okay. is um, the Summer Social. Okay. And this is a Stronger Together event, guys. Yay. This means that we're doing things in Lake Orion and in Oxford and you can ride the trolley in between us um, to enjoy everything that we're doing. Um, but the summer social, um, we're going to host a um, scavenger hunt. Okay. Yes. So be prepared. You can sign up and um, be prepared to take uh, pictures of goofy things and to wear weird stuff <laughs> and, you know, do interesting. I love um, a good themed event. <laughs> so, you know, I'm going to have to get registered for that. And it's so. all for the summer. And so. there's a huge prize that the winning team gets to win. Okay. And it's all summer and lake life related. The, oh. the prize So you do so. this with a team and you register mm -hmm. on the DDA's website? Um, or it's in our um, newsletter. We have okay. and on our on our Facebook page. Facebook, Both, okay. Yeah, there's two right. places and it's an event. So if you get the newsletter, right. be sure mm -hmm. that you sign up, click the link to sign mm -hmm. up there or mm -hmm. go to the Lake Orion, downtown Lake Orion Facebook page. Yes. So, okay. Yeah, and there have been instances where people have had some technical difficulties. Just contact us and we'll handle that for you. Okay, so. all right. Well, that yeah. sounds like fun. I'm looking forward to that. And I love yeah. events that are the Stronger Together events yeah. where it's both Oxford and Lake Orion and yes. riding the trolley. If you haven't yes. ridden the trolley yet, that yes. is a lot of fun. I have a great story about the trolley. Yeah. Um, first of all, there are sponsorship of opportunities available on the trolley. If you would like to have your name oh. on the trolley, so as it's <laughs> driving back and forth, please contact me. I have opportunities <laughs> for you. Um, but uh, my family, my sister's family, has a leader dog puppy that they're training. Yeah. Well, those dogs have to be able to get on buses. They oh. have to be able to ride on right. public transportation. Yep. So my sister and I and the dog were um, in town, and he didn't want to get on the trolley. <laughs> so she went back and she said, hey, we've got an issue here. How do I help him get past this issue so he can be a good leader dog? Yeah. And I got a picture texted to me from my niece they were on the trolley and the doggy was there and he didn't have any trouble getting on the trolley but um Aww. you know those dogs they have lots of big jobs and and but they're still baby puppies <laughs> yeah right yeah so um i was so glad that our trolley was able to help him get past that particular roadblock that they may not have even known about if we didn't have the trolley and if we hadn't been riding it that or trying to ride it that day. Right. So, Aw, yeah. see, we have the <laughs> friendliest trolley around. We do. <laughs> we do. We do, Aww. yes. Yeah. All right, so Jubilee, we have, um, what else yeah. is coming up? And then just as Jubilee is the weekend of the Jubilee, it mm -hmm. starts actually Thursday. Um, Thursday the 22nd okay and that weekend is the start of the Lake Orion American summer okay yeah which is so much fun yes right. um, it's run yeah. by um, the Bernie directive yep um, and restaurant week starts that Saturday the 26th 
and then our pub, the American Summer Pub Crawl. And the nice thing about this pub crawl is that there are there's transportation all over to every single sponsored um, restaurant or, or yes. bar. Um, there's there's a bus that will take you. So guys, just enjoy the crawl. Just yes. enjoy <laughs> um, the American, you know, the yeah. start of your summer. It's an adult event, and it's just wild and crazy and fun. It is a lot of fun. <laughs> you want to make yeah. sure that you dress in red, white, and blue. Yeah. Like go all out. <laughs> yes. It is definitely an event. Mm -hmm. I know that I've told a lot of my colleagues about the event who are not from the Lake Orion area. Yeah. And they're like, "Ooh, that sounds like fun." Yeah. I'm like, "You need to come out and experience yes. it." Yeah. So yeah, it's a great way to be wild and crazy, but also to be responsible and safe. Yeah. Yes, and there's so, plenty of rides, so if you yeah. drive to one location and then get bussed all around, then yeah. you can take your Uber, or we have some mm -hmm. local transportation like that that you can call mm -hmm. and, and get yourself home. So, yes, yep. safely. Yes. Yes, and then there's Flare Night on the 30th. Um, and that's, that's a nice event, too. Yes, so that's, so, you guys know what Flare Night so. is? Well, yeah, locals <laughs> know what Flare Night is, especially <laughs> those who live on the lake, but mm -hmm. for those who don't, Flare Night is where homes that are on the lake, they set off they put flares out and mm -hmm. so you can go around if you ha know somebody who has a boat on Lake Orion or a home on Lake Orion it's really kind of a, a cool sight to see um, my neighbor who has has a boat on the lake uh, you know took me on last year and yeah. oh my gosh it was wonderful like <laughs> so neat to see all the yards and the homes lit lit up so Yay, that's wonderful yeah. and then um, and then of course we have full um, we have the 4th of July and our fireworks, I believe, it's not written on here, but I think it's going to be um, the first Saturday, which I think is July 1st. Okay. Um, yeah. The first Saturday. And um, you guys know that's going to be out on the lake. Mm -hmm. um, we only have, usually we have more than one event. We're just having the one event this year. Okay. And the, and the Going yeah, back first, to the original, right? Because yes. we used to always have the one firework show. Mm -hmm. I know we did the dueling for a couple of years, but mm -hmm. I think it's kind of nice because you can have one big show for everybody to enjoy. Yeah, so. make it a little bit bigger it's, that although way. Although, there are, are, will there still be fireworks for the Jubilee as no. well? No. Okay, so we're going to do one combined show for mm -hmm. everything. Okay, mm -hmm. all yes. right. Yes, and then right after the holiday, um, the Ju July 4th holiday, we start the Lake Orion Live music concerts. And these, um, this year, it's going to be local talent, and we have a lot of excellent talent, local talent. We do. Um, this has all been um, arranged and organized by 20 Front Street. I want to thank oh. Alan and the team at 20 Front Street for arranging that for us. That's a big um, job, right? To, to bring everybody job. together, get everyone scheduled, and mm -hmm. you know, bringing in the talent mm -hmm. that you know everybody's going to enjoy listening to. And the nice thing is, they make it look very easy. Yes, they do. You and I <laughs> both know that right. it is not easy. Right. Right. <laughs> it's no. not easy to find good talent and to know that you're getting um, the best entertainers that you can get. But Twenty Front Street is aware of yes. who are the best, and they make sure that we get the best. They are phenomenal when mm -hmm. it comes to music and talent, mm -hmm. and there's a reason that that venue mm -hmm. is so successful, mm -hmm. and we are very lucky to have them in downtown and mm -hmm. to be helping with our local events as well. Yes, yes absolutely, so. I agree. Um, so that is going to be every Wednesday through August 30th, and it will be in Children's Park at 6.30. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. All right. um, and so you can bring your bring your chairs. Sometimes people will mm -hmm. grab something to eat or drink and mm -hmm. have a seat and uh, you know sit and enjoy the music on a nice yes. summer night. Yes, actually, we've got a prevent, presenting um, event sponsor um, in Flip Spot Gymnastics, and okay. they actually get their own chairs. We set out chairs that oh. says Flip Spot Gymnastics right on the back, yeah. um, and they those are open and available just for them anytime they want to come and enjoy the the concerts. And I, I do have that. one more of those spots available if anyone was interested in sponsoring. Um, the Lake Orion Live music series at that level, okay, which is really fun. That is, I love that you're adding that. In, like they have their reserved reserved seats, yes, reserved so. <laughs> seating for the concerts. Yes, yeah, that is nice. Yeah, because yeah. really these events, um, we we wouldn't be able to do as much, right? We went downtown mm -hmm. without the sponsors. Um, yeah. You know, we have so many local businesses and individuals that will mm -hmm. sponsor some mm -hmm. of these events for everybody to enjoy, and that's 
I love it. It's wonderful. Yeah, if you don't mind, I'd love to yeah, please, talk please about, do. I just yes. want to thank, these are the Lake Orion Live Music Series sponsors. Like I said, um, Flip Spot Gymnastics and also 20 Front Street. Um, and then Lake Orion Window Treatments is our grand event sponsor. This is kind of going down. Yeah. Um, they, um, they also get VIP seating, but it's, um, it doesn't have their logo, okay. but it, they get <laughs> VIP seating as well. And then um, Wow Kitchen and Gas is our premier sponsor. And they're going to, you can see there, there's going to be a link on our newsletter if you have more, in, if you are interested to find out what they can do okay. um, for your home. And then our regular event sponsors include Fork and Pint, Haney Farm Bureau Insurance, Your Food Dude, mm -hmm. Broadway Embroidery, uh oh, Cookies and Cream. <laughs> Why can't I read my writing? Mm. Um, <laughs> Pronto Moving Company and Sawdust and Cider. Aww. So thank you to all of those businesses. We do still have sponsorships, especially um, the more specialized at a um, at the higher levels. We have a few of those left still available. Okay, so if you love music and you love supporting the mm -hmm. downtown, um, we'd love if you'd come and join in and be mm -hmm. a sponsor for one of these events. Yes, thank you. So. Yes. All right, so moving right along, we've got in July, there's also the Lake Orion High School All Classes Reunion Pre-Party. Oh. This is sponsored by the American Legion. Oh. Um, and we put a banner out there, congratulations high school grads. Yeah. <laughs> but the purpose of this one really is if you are a high school grad from Lake Orion and you're coming into town, well, come enjoy the downtown. Yeah. Just come and enjoy it. It's changed a lot. Depending yes. on when you graduated, yes. the downtown has really changed a lot in, uh, well, especially the last 10, 12 years. It's, mm -hmm. it's really changed. So, okay, yeah. so you're, you're hosting a party for. Well, the American Legion's hosting the a party. American Legion. Oh, okay. But so guess what? Legion. Our town is ready for that party. Yes. We're ready. We're ready. <laughs> <laughs> We're ready for all of come you to come on. and enjoy yourselves. Yes. <laughs> Oh. Yes, and then we uh, finish off the end of July with the Cops and Kids Car Show. Okay. This is sponsored by Galling GMC, um, but it is a, specifically, it's a fundraiser for the Kids and Cops program that yeah. our lo local Lake Orion Police Department runs. Yeah. And I love that program. I do too. I because do too. it's, um, in our media, there's so much um, fear about the, our, about our police and the Kids and Cops program kind of starts early and, and changes that narrative. Yeah. I mean, our cops are our friends here in Lake Orion, and they really work hard for the community to keep it safe. They do. Um, I was talking to the interim police chief, um, Todd Stanfield, yep. and we were talking about all of the summer events and how, you know, what was going to happen for our businesses. So the businesses would be um, up to date on what was going on. And because I've been hearing questions, I definitely said, hey, um, this happened in this community, this happened in this community, tell me you know, what the police department does. Right. So one of them was, um, there was a you know, disturbance um, at a local festival and they actually had to close down the entire festival because you know, there was something going on. Right. And, and I asked him about that one and he said, Molly, that doesn't really happen in Lake Orion because we have planes clothes policemen and uniformed policemen all over the place and we're on top of it before it becomes an issue. Yeah. And that what that to me, okay, thank you, police department. Yes. <laughs> that's huge. That's such a big that's that gave me a lot of peace of mind that we can invite people and that we know they're gonna be safe and that our police department is working the hardest they can to make sure. So this event, the the kids and Cops and Kids Car Show, it's all about them. Yeah, um, I, I do love it. And I, I can't say enough good things about our Lake Orion Police Department. It's mm -hmm. one of the reasons that I moved to and live in the village is because we have the Lake Orion Police Department that mm -hmm. is taking care of things. And many of the, the police officers, they're our neighbors as well. Mm -hmm. So they care about you know our community mm -hmm. and each, you know, each of us. Um, all the more so yes, yes. so yeah. this is a great event and there's there is so much that they do for our community mm -hmm. and for our kids and so um, yeah and shout out to Galling G GMC yeah. they do um, they're very entrenched in the community and make sure that um, the events that they're involved with are stellar 
Yes. Absolutely. I yes. do love this event. Mm -hmm. I do love this event. I yeah. attend it every year. So, And then we're into August. Yes. And Already, August. Already, how are we already <laughs> into August, Molly? We just started summer vacation. <laughs> um, in August, but look at all the fun we've had right, so we far. Are, we're having so much fun. That is true. Let's keep it going. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. So we start out August with Brave the Wave, which is a wave runner competition. It's right on the lake. Oh. And um, the village puts up, um, they put up um, bleachers. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm like, I, know I know this word. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they put up the bleachers so that you can see. Um, and we have, did you know that we have world class wave runner competitors who live? On the lake, I in Lake just Orion. heard. That, I just <laughs> heard that a couple, you know, a couple weeks ago, there was somebody yeah. like doing things out on the lake, and I was like, wow. And mm -hmm. yeah, I heard like, yeah, he's the guy that like competes yes. and does things. She's, I was like, she's oh, making this motion. Yeah, this I is an actual wave runner <laughs> yeah. turning upside With down a human and then landing. Body, like, yeah. like, and he doesn't fall off yeah. of the <laughs> wave runner either. He lands and then he yeah. does it again. He do, and he spins different ways. Um, and he's a world-class competitor. It is definitely in something that sport. you need to see. Yes, so definitely Brave the Wave is fantastic. So if you mm -hmm. don't live on the lake and you want to see it, you go to Greens Park mm -hmm. and yes. there'll be bleachers and mm -hmm. you can view the event that way. And yes. that's on August 5th. So it's on August 5th. Mark it in yes. your calendars. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> yes. All right, and then August 24th um, is the beginning of Dragon on the Lake. Oh, <laughs> and my birthday. See, and your birthday. The town throws a whole <laughs> party for me every year. I love it. <laughs> they bring in music and there's the beer tent and it's so much fun. I really oh appreciate gosh. it. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Art Center. <laughs> yeah, it's hosted by the Orient Art yeah. Center. <laughs> hosted by the Orient Art Center, there's two parts to this festival. One is out on the lake with the big, gigantic yeah. dragon rowboats with, um, is it 10-person teams? 20. 20-person yeah, teams. So oh ten, my gosh. there's 10 rows with two people. So it's 21 people row. then because we got the yes, drummer. Yes, with the too. drummer. Yes. Yep. So the drummer's 21, but 20 rowers. Mm -hmm. And then there's the person at the back steering, but you don't need to provide that. That's provided for you, the person that steer, who steers the boat. Ah, nice. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. And uh, so they, they go there and back. Um, and in heats, and it happens um, most most of it. They do practicing on Saturday, and then mm -hmm. most of the racing is actually on Sunday. The racing's all on Sunday. Yeah. 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 So what's happening in town? They've got live music. They have a beer tent called the Dragon Pub, um, and they have vendors all mm -hmm. over downtown. Um, it's a great festival. Yeah. There's, There's so also much fun. the chalk art and the and the chalk and you art can contest. Enter, I, I believe that's open to anybody to enter, and you get your your square, or your section mm -hmm. on the street, and some of the artwork is amazing. Like it is. Who knew you so could do that with fun. chalk? Right. Yeah. And it's yeah. so it's so awesome to walk, and it's like mm -hmm. in the, our streets downtown. It's mm -hmm. very cool. Yes. So. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, so, um, and then the trolley runs every Friday and Saturday um, okay. back and forth between Oxford and Lake Orion. And what are the times? Is it four, four to nine or ten? It, it is, it runs? we vary it. Um, it's okay. for the most part, um, it is the same every Friday, the same every Saturday. I th believe it's like four to nine okay. on Friday and three to nine or three to nine on Sunday. But okay. this is the thing, go to the downtown, Facebook downtown Lake Orion page and look, because we okay. have it posted there. So if you're ever, you ever need to know yeah. or get the updated schedule, just go to the Facebook mm -hmm. page. Yep. Yes, and then I wanted to tell you about the things that happen weekly during the summer yes. with our businesses. If, if, if all these big events <laughs> weren't enough, there's yes. something yes. every week going on. Yes, yes. there is, yeah. Um, I'll start out with um, things that we have just all, all the time. Um, we have a history, um, history History sign tour okay. and there's history signs on various buildings and over in Greens Park okay um, and you can hear learn a little bit about the building and about um, an era of time when Lake Orion was doing business. So is this a self-guided tour? It is self-guided. Okay, so yes. you can go and read the signs? Is that mm -hmm. what it is? Okay. And there's right. a QR code if you want more information. You can go online to our website. Okay. And on our website, we've got um, time shift videos that go back in time. So you can see the building the way it is now, and it goes backwards. That's really and, cool. and during that shift backwards, 
um, the narrator talks about the history, some important history in Lake Orion. Okay. And each video um, talks about something a little bit different. I love it. So I, yeah. I'm going to have to check that out. And then another self-guided tour is our Orion Township Library Story Walk. Okay. And that changes every single month. And the, the stories are classic. Um, parents, you've seen them, <laughs> you've read these <Yeah>. stories, <laughs> and it's very fun to walk with your kid and read the story all through town. I, it is fun, I, and mm -hmm. I do see them posted because I walk mm -hmm. through town quite often, and mm -hmm. it's fun to see them posted. Yeah, yeah. they're posted in the store windows, yeah. so um, you can wander through. So yeah. weekly on Tuesdays, we've got Cookies and Cream Kids Night from 6.30 to 8. And that's on Tuesday, and then on Wednesday, we've got the 313 Pizza Bar, Bike Night, bring your bikes down and have have a good time talking about bikes at the pizza bar. That's and a pretty popular event. If, you, if you've if you been mm -hmm. in downtown on a Wednesday night, you will see the bikes all mm -hmm. lined up and parked. And mm -hmm. so, yeah, that's fun. And then the kids' night, there's, there's usually crafts and activities that are like special in particular mm -hmm. to that evening. So, yeah, lots of there's there's always something mm -hmm. something for everybody yes <laughs> something for everybody and of course we've got our concerts that yep. night on wednesdays and then wine social um also does music on wednesday okay and then on thursdays there's the cornhole league and guys even if you're not involved in actually playing cornhole it is such a spectacle it's fun to watch yeah i mean i'm involved but i play but yeah um it is fun to watch because it's literally all over town you'll see cornhole I, you know i've watched it and <laughs> seen it so many times but uh -huh. i feel like i need to get in on the action one of these times so if anybody yeah. needs a sub just give me a call let me yeah know. <laughs> they are um the teams are looking for subs so okay. you can contact the american legion if you are interested in being a sub all right and then also um three one three pizza bar has trivia night i walked in on that um last week that they were having so much fun <laughs> so much there was a, i think i walked in on the one of the teams was actually winning at the time well that is fun then. yeah <laughs> so that, that was really fun and then again wine social has music and then on friday i mean friday is hopping no matter what right but um if you were interested in live music um a bean to go fork and pint and of course 20 front street have live music and actually really wednesday thursday friday saturday 20 Front Street has live, live music, and I didn't put that in here, but they are definitely yeah. present. Um, but the other, so 20 Front Street, A Bean to Go, and Fork and Pint all have live music on Fridays. And then Wine Social says they've got a DJ, so lots of different oh, music yeah. options. And then on Saturday, same thing A Bean to Go, Fork and Pint, Wine Social, and 20 Front Street for music. And um, I know Fork and Pint. They put their musician out on the patio right. so you can enjoy outside, Yes, uh, which is really nice. And even if you're walking by, you mm -hmm. get to enjoy the music. Mm -hmm. and, <laughs> and they're all different. Yeah. Um, a Bean to Go, uh, they, of course, have their own grand pan piano and they have their own guitar that are just kind of there. So if you'd like to pick up the music, you can. Yeah. But really, they kind of, um, it, it's... I've seen harmonica players in there. I mean, it's very yeah. um, eclectic yes. and fun. Well, yes. I just had the DNA duo on my program, yes, my, yes. my program, and um, Alan and Donna. They do play at a Bean to Go sometimes, yes. and so yeah, they have their their music there as well. So, yes. Yeah. All right. Um, and and I just want to remind everybody that we have free parking all over Lake Orion. Free parking. Um, Can't beat and that. And free parking. <laughs> in Oxford. So if you're having trouble finding parking in Lake Orion, go to Oxford, park, and ride the trolley and enjoy yes. yourself that way. And then we also have a social district. So if you're enjoying yourself and you want to stay outside and maybe you want to wander around, well, you go into your favorite restaurant, pick up your favorite drink, and take it with you. Yes, absolutely. So you any way you want to enjoy, the social you district get to enjoy. And they get it all ready for you. And mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and, and I believe is the can you hear the music on Wednesdays from the social district? Mm -hmm, absolutely. So yeah, our social mind. district is um, all the sidewalks that are inside downtown. So um, if you're on a sidewalk and you have a drink, you're fine. Okay. Um, and that's but um, social district, you're not allowed to go into the parks. Sure. But the yeah. way our park is arranged, you can be up on the yeah. sidewalk. The up sidewalk on top is and have it perfect. right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And also along the side, um, when you're um, on the other side of the creek, 
where there's the stairs go up, mm -hmm. um, that is also part of the social district. Okay. As it happens, it's right. considered a sidewalk. Okay. Well, that's good news. <laughs> yeah, that's good. So you can actually sit under the trees over there on that side and hear the music. And and of course, Wine Social, you have a perfect view if you want to sit down and just really enjoy. Um, sitting someplace and still yeah. having a cocktail, Wine Social has a good view of those concerts as well. Yes, yes, they yeah, definitely do. And then you, and or then you're ice ready. cream too. If mm -hmm. ice cream and is cookies. more your thing, you can sit at Cookies and Cream and you're mm -hmm. on that side as well. Well, but you don't. Ha you can go to Cookies and Cream and then come into the park with well, that, that product. Well, that is true. <laughs> with that product, that is true. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> ice cream <Yeah>. is allowed. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, yeah. I mean, there's you know, movie night um, is in September. Outdoor movie night is in okay. September. I think we're kind of trying to just talk about summer, yeah. but I just want to give you a but teaser, just a sneak, <laughs> sneak preview. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, all right, so of course there's more things to come, but there is a lot going on this summer. So mm -hmm. if you didn't take your notes fast enough while we were talking today, you can go to the Downtown Lake Orion Facebook page and mm -hmm. everything will be posted there. Mm -hmm. and get more information. Um, but yeah, we hope to see you downtown this summer. And if mm -hmm. you are still interested in being a sponsor for one of these yes. events, please contact Molly at the DDA mm -hmm. and um, there are still plenty of sponsorship opportunities available. And we thank yeah. all of the sponsors because mm -hmm. without you, we wouldn't be able to have all of these wonderful events. Mm -hmm. So, Yeah, we, um, we work hard to get some good recognition for the people who do sponsor for us. And there is, um, this book is on our website, on the front page of our website. You can look at the details and I provided um, or I had our events coordinator make sure that she provided all of our post event stats so you really could see what the value is for your money. Yeah. Um, and we think that we do a good job providing recognition for those businesses. I think so too. And we appreciate the support and the, um, we appreciate, we need, we need sponsors in order to do all of the really fun um, community give back um, programs that we do. Yeah, and it is so much fun. Mm -hmm. And when, um, is it the Legion you said that's hosting the reunion party? Yes. <laughs> so when the Legion <laughs> yeah. has their party, if you haven't been in Lake Orion in a while, you're going to see all of the mm -hmm. fun things and mm -hmm. all of the changes and excitement that we do have in downtown yes. and especially in the summer. Yes. So yes. we're ready for a great season. Yes. So. Yes. <laughs> So, well, Lake thank you Orion's again. It's going to be very fun. Thank you again for joining. Is there anything that we missed? Did we miss anything or did we, we get it all covered? <laughs> I think we covered it all. Okay. <laughs> yes, I think we did. Yeah, uh, um, just other things that are going on. Um, Lake Orion DDA, mm -hmm. the Downtown Development Authority, yes. is planning to buy a piece of property in downtown. Yes. So more details to come on that. And um, we have recently... Um, we recently made an agreement with the village to give back again. I mean, we're kind of about giving back to, yes. we're part of this community, it matters to us. Yes. Um, and we have, um, we're doing a 75% revenue share for all the new um, new tax uh, increment financing that we receive. Okay. All the growth, 75% okay. of it's going right back into the village. All right, that's a, yeah, a huge percentage. And really mm -hmm. there's, I know, um, there's already a large percentage of what comes into the DDA that goes mm -hmm. to the village so that mm -hmm. the village is also going to continue to get the majority mm -hmm. of the new growth. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, that just shows how, how well every, you know, the DDA We all the need village, to work together. We, we, yes. We all need to work together. Our sponsors, the village, the DDA, um, the fire department, the police department, we yeah. all work together and that makes this place a great place to live. It does. It and does. a great place to visit. And I, I, I don't think you're gonna find anybody who doesn't like love living here. Mm -hmm. And it's why we have so many people mm -hmm. that like you, you either have always lived here and you don't leave, or mm -hmm. once you come, you're there mm -hmm. to stay. You're here yeah. to stay. So <laughs> I have lots of family who yeah. live out of town. Yeah. And when they come, I always bring them. To, they are so charmed by Lake. I'm yeah. charmed by Lake Orion. Yes. Every time I, I just when I come and I'm not doing business when I'm just visiting, yeah. I am so charmed by everything that is here, all the businesses that are here, um, how it feels when I'm walking down the street. Mm -hmm. um, how people interact with each other. It's charming. <laughs> it is. It is. We have a it's, wonderful community. Mm -hmm. And like you said, everybody supports each other and mm -hmm. is really working towards the best for 
everyone as a whole. So, mm -hmm. yeah. well, thank you so much for joining us today, Molly, and thank sharing not only me. the DDA's events, but uh, the other organizations that have events that are coming to the downtown mm -hmm. this summer. Mm -hmm. um, we're looking forward to a wonderful season in downtown Lake Orion this summer. Yes. And uh, thank you all. Yes. Thank you, Molly. <laughs> thank you all for tuning in today uh, for this episode of Orion Outreach. We'll see you next time.